Hello, hello! Welcome po sa Bavani Reviews and for this video, I will be giving you tips on how you can organize and manage your client's inbox. So, if you're newly matched with a client or you're just looking for avenues to go above and beyond with inbox management, then keep on watching. One of the tasks that you'll be doing as an executive assistant is inbox management. This will be a daily agenda for you as it is important to keep your clients' emails clean and organized. Now, what are the things that you can do in order to do that? Number one is sorting of emails. This is when you create folders for specific types of emails. At the onset of your partnership with a client, especially if this is their first time having an EA, you might have to archive old emails and sort them by category. This, however, will depend on your client's preference. I will show you how to do this at a later part of our video, but for now, let's go to tip number two. Tip number two is labels. In Gmail in particular, you can add labels to each and every email. This way, it's easier for you to sort the important ones and identify the ones which are just spam or promotions. Number three is color coding. You can also add specific colors to each label. For example, red for the urgent or important ones, green for the personal ones, and yellow for the spam or promotion ones. Number four is inbox view. There are different ways on how you can set your client's inbox view to keep it more segregated. Again, I will show you guys how to do this later. That way, it will not add to the clump of emails in the main inbox page. Fifth and final tip is automation or filters. Depending on how your client reads the emails, you can set automations or filters for specific emails. For example, your client doesn't really read emails from Forbes magazine but just want to keep it in a specific folder just in case one day they thought of checking it. So what you can do is set a filter for which emails from Forbes magazine will go straight to the folder set for them. Alright, so now let me show you how we can actually do all of this. Let's move to my screen. Alright, for our first and basically the second tip, which is sorting of email, labels also come into picture because in order for you to sort your emails, you should add labels first. Labels are basically your specific folders. On this part, on the left side of your email or your client's email, you can see this section here which is called obviously labels so there's a plus sign here which will let you create a new label now if you click this one this pop-up message will appear so you can enter a name for your label or your folder and if you have a main folder already you can nest this new label or new folder under that main folder so i'll show you how this works later on as well so for now let's do probably um a folder called productivity all right so let's create this one and now i want to sort my productivity emails like my asana and my fiverr emails to go to this folder but since these are two different senders, I want Asana to have its own subfolder and I want Fiverr to have its own subfolder as well. So to do that, you can either hover over the folder you want them to be under and then click the three dots here and then add sublabel or you can just simply click create new label as well Type the name of your folder, in this case, Asana, and click Nest Label Under. And then, you will now be able to select the main folder. So, let's select Productivity and then click Create. Now, you'll be able to see that the Asana folder has been created and placed under the Productivity, which is the main folder. Now, if I 
toggle this off, the subfolders will get hidden. But if I toggle it on, you'll see the specific folders again. Now I want to add another folder or subfolder for Fiverr. Again, click Add New Label. Add the label name. Click Nest Label Under. And then select the parent or the main folder. Now if you want specific folders created for Asana as well, you can do that. And you can select Asana as the main folder. But in this case, I want the Fiverr folder to be under Productivity. So let's go ahead and create this folder there. So now I have the folders to which I can sort the emails. In your case, especially when you have just started with your client, you might be having an email or inbox which has about 11,000 emails in total. So you have to back check everything, see what your client's preference is if they want some folders like from for example 2014 to a specific year let's say 2019 to be in one folder as archive or they want it separate again how you sort your emails and how you add labels and folders will depend on what your client wants so how do we add the specific emails to their assigned folders and since you might be dealing with a whole bunch of emails, 5,000 to 10,000 or even more, it will take time for you to click each and every emails to sort them out. So what you can do is just search for a specific sender or a keyword and all of the emails set for that keyword will come out. So now you can just select all, click labels, select the folder or the label you want to add for this. In this case, productivity or Asana. Click apply. And now you'll see that the label has been added in these emails. Now you can go ahead and click archive. So if you remove this and go to your main inbox, you will see that all the Asana emails have been removed from the main inbox. If we go to the Asana folder, you'll see that all of them have been moved here. Now let's do the same thing for the Fiverr emails. Search Fiverr, click enter, select all. Now be careful because if you're dealing with your client's email and you enter or search a specific keyword, some Emails which are not supposed to belong to a specific folder will pop up here as long as they have the specific keyword that you've entered. So just be careful. Check all the emails before you archive them. Now, since these are all supposed to go to the Fiber folder, again, I'll add labels. And check this. Add the label Productivity Fiber. Then click Apply. And now, click Archive. So let's go back to the main inbox. And you will see that the Fiverr email has also been removed. If you click to the Fiverr folder, you can see that everything has been moved here. Alright, so that's how you sort the emails and add labels. Now, for our third tip, which is color coding, we can set specific colors for each label so that it's easier for us to distinguish stuff. Now, let's say productivity will be purple and I'll add more labels. So, personal will be there. Social media will be there. All right. So to add colors to this specific labels, hover over the folder that you want to add color to. Click the three dots beside it. Hover over label color and you'll see different colors here to choose from. You can also add a custom color if you want. But for this example, I will just choose blue for the personal folder. For the productivity, I will choose purple. So if you have a main folder with subfolders under it, you will get this message where you can set color for only the label or the folder productivity, which is the main folder, or you can set the color for everything, including the sublabels. So in this case, I will include the colors for the sublabels as well. 
So let's click that and click set color. Now for social media, I will choose yellow for this. All right. So now if you have specific messages like this, for example, and you add labels to this emails, say I want social media for this, click apply, and you'll see that the labels will be set for that email and also the color coding. Even for this one, let's set it to social media. There. Even this Google, actually. Let's sort my email out <laughs> while we're at it. All right. Now, for the personal, since this is mine, a test email, let's set it to personal. So the personal has been set to blue as well. Now, you can see clearly now and distinguish which one is important, which ones do you have to give your attention to, and stuff like that. So now that I've set the labels here, let's go ahead and sort them. So just click all the social media here and then set to archive. Now they will be moved to the social media folder. All right, for the personal, it's the same thing, but I'll just keep this email as is for now, just so we can use this for our final tip. But for now, tip number four is about inbox view. Let me put this back to the inbox. Let me go ahead and select all these emails and move it to inbox because I will be doing some demonstration for this. So let's say I have clicked this personal email as starred. Now you can set the view of your inbox to show the starred emails above everything else. Like, for example, you and your client have the agreement that everything that's important will be stored so that they can go ahead and check their email and right off the bat, they can see everything above. And all those that are not as important as the stored ones will be set or placed down the bottom. So to do that, just click the settings on the upper hand corner of the inbox. And you can see here, different type of setting for your inbox view. Now for the inbox type, you can see here that there are options for important first, unread first, start first, priority inbox, or multiple inboxes. So the current setting or page that we are seeing, this is the default one where everything is as is, not organized and in order. Now, since we want all the important emails first, not this one because this important tag is actually set by Gmail. So I don't usually use this. I use the start feature. So for all the important emails to be shown above, select start first and you can see that there is a section for the start emails and there is a section for everything else. Now in this inbox view, you can see that all the start and important emails will be shown above and everything else will be shown below. This way, it's easier to track emails that you have to attend to. Now for our last and final tip, which is the automation, this email will come into picture. Now, for example, your client prefers that emails from a specific person or specific sender will have to be automatically placed in a folder because they don't want it hanging around here under everything else. You can do that by adding automation or filters. Now, for example, I want emails from Sheng Esquilio to go directly to personal. So what I'll do is I'll click this email, click these three buttons up, which is more, select filter messages like this, and then everything that's coming from this sender, business.bavani at gmail.com, will be placed to the personal folder. So we'll go ahead and click create folder, click skip the inbox or archive it, Select the apply the label and choose the label or the folder where we want it to be placed. It's important to select this part here because the automation will just send 
this type of email to the default archive folder of Gmail. So if you don't click this, it will just go to archive, like the actual archive folder. So for, in order for us to set it to a specific folder, we have to click apply the label. Now we'll go ahead and create the filter. All right. So now that we have created the filter, let me show you how it will work. So let's go to my other email. And let's say I am sending an email to this inbox. Test 2. Test 2. Then click send. Now you will see that the test 2 email has gone directly to the personal folder without even landing on the main inbox page. So if you can see, it's unread and it automatically went to the personal folder. This way, there will not be much clutter for unimportant emails on your client's main inbox. Alright, so there you have it. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope I helped you in some way. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you've reached this part of the video and you have not liked it, please do give this video a thumbs up and while you're at it, subscribe to my channel and also enable the notification bell so that you're always updated whenever I upload. So again, thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!